GTA 6 is rumored to cost us $150 per copy. And let's talk about the reason why you are going to pay that. Or most of society is going to pay that. You see, not too long ago, I heard about the $2 billion budget that it was going to cost to make this game. And to be fair, I was not surprised when I heard about the $150 game. I also commented on somebody's video jokingly, but sort of, kind of, not really, saying just worth it with, with a period after that. So, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of kidding, but I'm really not. So, I know people are going to pay this money. I know people are going to pay $150. They are anticipating, which I'll, I'll show a video uh, of somebody on TikTok. This guy didn't, this doesn't really have too many likes or views, so I want to kind of show his video and then shout, shout him out the best I, I can to maybe even get him some more views. But here's the thing. The video is actually really, really, really well done too, surprisingly. So that's why I wanted to show it. So, so anyway... The, the game is rumored to be $150 for a, a copy. That's not that's that's not including all the other shit. So they may have like different prestige editions. They may have, you know, different releases that you have to pay for along the lines. Like they're rumored to make a billion dollars on the first weekend that, that it's released. Even the first day possibly. And that's just a projection. We don't know that, right? Like we could obviously change that if nobody buys the game. Correct. But since people have been so eager for the game and how many views people have gotten, how many different like videos I've seen of it and how much how much attention those videos get, I think they're gonna they they their PR marketing team, all the guys, all the executives up upstairs were all like, you know what? Let's make the price tag higher. I guarantee you they'll pay for it. And they want to recoup their money as fast as possible. Okay? That's the dark side, right? That that could be false. That could be true. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing. We're all guessing. We're all assuming. No, nothing's confirmed until some until you hear it from the horse's mouth, right? So, GTA 6, the good side of this is that they need the money to build and create more content that's going to be released throughout the days, years, months of the game's lifespan, right? They'll get it. Don't get it. Don't get me wrong. But they want to recoup it faster so, so they can start working on other projects. Not only Red Dead Redemption 3, but also, you know, more GTA 6 related or GTA VI. Yeah, VI because IV is 4. Um, anyway, I, Roman numerals confuse me. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm thinking that, that people are going to pay this because, I mean, it's GTA. Like, and there's... My reasoning behind people are going to pay the $150 a month or the $150 for the game itself of GTA 6 is because people are so excited to see everything about G GTA. E even on my channel, like a video actually got a copyright claim and got taken down, but that's that's a story for a different day. And that video is almost hitting 5,000 views, like by itself, just from YouTube search. So that is a huge thing. So... I think GTA 6 being $150 per copy, y'all are going to pay it because you all are so eager to get it, to get your hands on it, okay? May not be a bad thing. This might be something that's a good thing, but we don't know what the money is going to be used for, right? Are they just trying to recoup their initial investment as fast as possible? Or are they using that, that money to expand the game and maybe even expand on Red Dead Redemption 3? We don't know. We're speculating. Let's show you the video that I have in store for you guys today, and we'll uh, we'll we'll take we'll take a look at that. Most anticipated game in the world, GTA Six. The wait will soon be over, but at let, let, let me restart it just to get like the full it's been a decade, encapsulation. The gaming world is holding its breath, eagerly waiting for the most anticipated game in the world, GTA Six. The wait will soon be over but at a staggering price. Rumors now swirl that GTA 6 could hit the gaming scene before 2026, igniting excitement worldwide. However, there's a twist. Rockstar Games appears set to attach a staggering dollar 150 price tag to each copy, a reflection of the rumored $2 billion budget behind the game's creation. Take 2 Interactive, the parent company, 
is eyeing a rapid return on investment with hopes that GTA 6 will rake in $1 billion on its first day and recoup its entire budget within just three days. Take two interactive CEO hints at a game slated for October 23rd and 24. While the clip has vanished, still fans eagerly await the potential October surprise. Let us know in the comments below what you think. So this is actually made by Viral Balls or Original. Um, so shout, shout out to them. If you want to go watch their video, go ahead and watch it. And they, I haven't watched any of their other content, so I don't know how good it is. But go check out their stuff and let, let, let me know if it's good in the comments. And if you watch this far, make sure you like the video and subscribe. Mostly just like because I think that actually helps us go a little further. Any, anyway, I think... Uh, yeah, I mean that that pretty much sums up the entire argument. Uh, I I I I just I just don't. I know people are gonna. I know you know the th you know the funny thing is I've seen a lot of videos that are complaining about the hundred fifty dollar price tag, but I I, I know y'all are gonna buy it. Like you're all being like, oh, you don't want to spend that, but you're gonna be scraping the bottom of the barrel, not eating for the next two days just so you can afford the goddamn game. So like I don't know why people complain. This is the, this is the problem today, man. Everyone complains. Everyone's like, "Oh, this is this is so this is outrageous. This is outrageous. Why are we one hundred fifty dollars? That's crazy. Why why are why would they charge that? And it's like then they're just they're putting their credit card out to try to like fucking get the game as soon as it comes out or like get it early. You know, pre order it, get like the beta. You're like, dude, you just said you hated it. Why are you buying it? <laughs> I don't know. That was a little bit off topic, but at the same time, it's like, that's what I've been seeing a lot of. It's like people just complaining. They're like, oh, this this is unbelievable. I can't believe this Call of Duty would do this. I can't believe they would do this. Like, blah, 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 blah. And then it's like, they're, they're the first people in line. You're like, weren't you just making a video yesterday about how much you hated it? <laughs> you know? So, <clears throat> from all the stuff that I've seen, all the stuff I've been bitching about over the past, you know, four or five six years i've been making videos on this channel however long you know y'all are gonna buy it don't don't be stupid i might buy it just to make content on it but i'm probably i don't know i may not even buy it i'm i'm kind of tired of playing games man i'm so bored of it i'd rather make them you know I, i'd rather i'd rather make the games than complain about the games and play them and just keep complaining and going through the very vicious circle of like why is this broken it's like because they don't give a shit they don't care anymore they don't they do not care if something is broken. You want to know why? Because their pockets are still being lined. You are you are going to pay that $150 to get that game because you want that game so bad. You want that little dopamine hit and you're going to buy that game. That's 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 what you're going to do. Like a good little slave, you're going to buy that game. Okay? That's that's the reason why. That's the reason why they're not fixing the glitches. That's the reason why they're not doing the fixes for anything like this. This goes for Call of Duty too. This goes for like a lot of different games. Like, they're. I mean, again, games are not going to be bug free when 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 they first launch. But there's a reason why bugs are not being fixed. Unless they affect profit, bugs will never be fixed. Not anymore. Okay. Because again, when they, when when that when that disc that game disc a long time ago released, there was no mid September update. There was no end of the month update. There was no first day patch fifth day patch there was no patches you got what you paid for and yes we moved on into the into a better future but here's the real issue that game that disc that you got was the game that you got so those glitches that were on there they were either fixed or they weren't fixed and that's it now it's like they're just releasing a quarter done games and they're like all right here's season one here's season two Here's some more shit that you gotta buy. That's why they're doing it. And if you keep buying it, they are going to keep doing it. Okay? So, if you don't want GTA to be $150, do not buy it on day one. So, the people that are bitching, do not buy it on day one. Okay? Because then that proves to them, if you buy it, that, that their model works. Okay? Now, you see a lot of games on Game Pass or whatever else that don't do so well on day one. Those games are discounted almost instantly because nobody wants to buy them. Okay? There are, or they go now they go on Game Pass for free. So, a game that is not doing very well, like Exo Primal. I didn't buy Exo Primal. It took them like three weeks to put that on, to put that on Game Pass. 
Nobody's going to spend $76 on a fucking, on a, on a dinosaur game. Like, come on. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, if they did, they're stupid. But like, those are the people that like just wanted to get with the hype, which is the which is now also the problem too, is the hype around games. All your favorite content creators are getting invited out to these places to go play this game and test it out and show their audience. It's all a PR son, you know. And even Z Zlander said, said 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 this in his video about the COD Next event. They, they don't give a shit about what the content creators say about the game. There are so many different problems with, with, with the game. So many different, so much feedback that they gave to their team. And then, like, it took a year of Warzone 2 being out for them to actually make those changes to pretty much where we are right now. And I know most of you probably haven't even played Warzone 2 in a long time. But, essentially, the Warzone 2 that first released is way different than the Warzone 2 that we have now. Pretty much like Warzone 1 at this point. Move, movements back, gun plays back, fucking unrealistic shits back. You can jump ten, you know, le level a skyscraper by 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 jumping over it, you know. So it, it's like the 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 content creators are are the problem, but also the solution too. But they don't care about the content creators. Say as long as they get content, as long as they give them content to show to their audience. Oh, this is cool. You know, yeah, I mean, they invited me out. You know, they paid me some money to do this. You know, they paid for my plane ticket, paid for my hotel or whatever. You know. And the, the truth of the matter is, is that the games are going to still be shitty if you buy them. So, <laughs> it's funny because a game, I've noticed this, which I'll, I'm actually going to make a video about this pro probably soon. Prototype. And Prototype 2, Hulk Ultimate Destruction, Radical Entertainment made, made, made those games. Even, Ev, uh, I think it was called Evolution or something. Turtle Rock Stu Studio made that. Those games did not hit as hard as they should have. Because they weren't advertised as well as Call of Duty is. Okay? I'm going to tell you something right, right now. You, you play Splatterhouse on the 360... You play Prototype, Prototype 2. You play Hulk Ultimate Destruction. You play the games that are actually fun. And they, the, the company went under that made those games. Because they just weren't advertised well. But those games are way more enjoyable than Call of Duty, than GTA. Red Dead Redemption 2 is fun. So, so is GTA. That's not really a direct comparison. But the point of the matter is, is like, there are games out there that are way more fun than the ones that we that are in mainstream media right 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 now that people don't care about but that's because they haven't been advertised properly but i i can assure you prototype and prototype 2 you will have a blast for hours playing that game versus if you play a call of duty game even gta 6 there's a lot there's a lot of stuff to do in gta don't get me wrong G GTA is one of the exceptions that, I've, that I, especially that I've said in past vi videos, they are one of the exceptions. They are very good at what they do. They are making a game. The, the GTA Six will be released when it's ready, not when you want it to be released. So if it takes 12, 13, 14, 15 years to release GTA Six, that's how long it's going to take. They will release GTA Six in fifteen years. Okay. And they're charging $150 because the game is worth that. That is what I believe. Now, is it worth that? I, I, don't, I don't know. We will have to see. But from the, the rumors and all the leaks that I've been hearing about GTA 6, it sounds like it's going to be worth $150. It sounds like it's going to be worth $200. Okay? Different cities. It's going to take place in Vice City. Like, it's going to be a crazy game. Okay? So $150 price tag to me doesn't sound too crazy. I may not buy it, but we'll see what time will tell. Make sure you like the video. Thanks for watching and take care.